begging. <laughs> GoPro stop recording. Oh my gosh. <sighs> What's going on guys? This is Gene Jensen. <laughs> oh, I lost my bait. I can't show you what it is, but I caught it. Caught this behemoth. <laughs> on a new bait from Yamamoto called the Yamatanuki. I want to show you guys what I know about how to fish it. Look at that beast. Bam. First of all, let's talk about the equipment. And I think the biggest thing is the hook. A 4 aught EWG, extra wide gap hook. This is a thick piece of plastic. You've got to have an extra wide gap hook. I would use something that has like a, a bait keeper on it, like a grip pin, a must add grip pin. This is a Gamagatsu Superline hook. It's not ideal for it. it. Tends to, when they bite, it tends to slip down and cover up the hook just like this a lot. So something that has some way of keeping that bait up on the hook, even if you got to super glue it, I, it's just, that's critical. That little flat part on the bait tends to snag in their mouth and it'll bunch up and I lose a bunch I've lost a bunch of fish because of that. I just don't have any grip pin hooks and I haven't had a chance to get to the get to the store. All right, so next is the line. Some type of fluorocarbon line, it's a sinking bait. You want a line that sinks anywhere from 12 to 20 pounds. I've got 17 pound test uh Seaguar Abrasex on this one and I've got to retie it cuz that fish took me around so many stumps all right so next is the rod i'm using my jig rod seven foot three medium heavy fast rod this is a, a fate a fate black it's only like an 80 80 90 dollar rod it's not that expensive i love the stinking thing but a concept z reel uh or this is a z slide i like eight one eight three to one or a high speed reel so you can get it back to you and make another cast but the biggest thing about it is technique it's a lot like a Cinco. You throw it out, you drop your line slack, you let it fall as vertical as you can, and you look for that bite on the fall. And now I, I've, I've seen some videos where people talk about it, them hitting on the way up, and I haven't experienced that. I think that has more to do with the mood the fish are in because I've been able, you know, there's been several times where I've, like a chatterbait or something else, I've jerked it up off the bottom and gotten hit on the, hit on the way up, but it's just about the mood of the fish. For the most part, what I've seen is they either hit it on the fall or they hit it when it get, right after it gets to the bottom. So my technique is to flip it out up against cover, let it fall down on a, on a slack line, let it sit for a couple of seconds, and then just hop it a little bit and it'll fall down again. And I usually get bit somewhere in that. Now when it falls, you know, a Cinco has two little, the, when you wacky rig, rig a Cinco, it wiggles on the way down. This one, the tail wiggles, that funky little tail wiggles, but it falls like this. And so that's one of the cool things that makes it different than a Cinco. And it may work better some days than, than a Cinco does. It's one of those things where I really feel like it's going to be a good bait. Like I said, I've caught a bunch of fish on it. Another thing about how to fish this bait is it, it's so heavy. It's like three quarters of an ounce and it flips and pitches just like a jig and just like something that has weight. And so you can cover a lot of stumps and things, a lot of, lot of cover with it. You can just flip it and pitch it like you do a jig, hop it, hop it, and get it back to the boat. It just sinks slow. That's the only thing. So I think probably about, oh, a foot every 10, 10 seconds, you know, 8 to 10 seconds, it'll drop a foot. So it's a fairly slow sink. I've even caught plenty of them spawning. You know, you throw in there, you let it sit down, and all of a sudden, they don't like it there. You know, it's a big chunk of plastic. It kind of looks like a crawfish without the claws. And it'll, they'll go down and pick it up, and you set the hook, and when they pick it up, they've got the hook in their mouth. What I would use this for with spawning is I'd use it up as a use it as a follow-up bait. I'll use a giant lizard to get them all pissed off, and then uh, when they're biting that lizard good, I'll throw this in there, and they'll put the hook in their mouth. So, but that's the ten Yama Tanuki from Yamamoto. I promise guys, it catches great fish. But like I always say, be sure to introduce somebody to fishing. Introduce them to my channel. Let me help you teach them how to fish. More importantly, get out on the water, go out and catch some fish, and have a great day. We'll see you.